What's up, friends? Welcome back to the Scrap Trawlers channel, where we do EDH on a budget. We got game two coming at you for episode 18. And, uh, Nick, why don't you tell people once again what our theme was for this episode? We're playing our god dang decks. God These are, uh... Dang it. <laughs> this theme is, uh, we're all playing god decks, so, uh, unfortunately, it is 3v1 here. We got, uh, we got Theros versus Kaldheim. <laughs> But, uh, but yeah, we all built uh, $50 decks around various gods, and uh, we're just, you know, battling them out. Sweet. Um, yeah. There, but should we should uh, be... Let's introduce our decks again. Uh, Bobby Christine, what are you playing? I shall be playing Xenagos, God of Rebels, with a little bit of a Hydra sub-theme. I will try to make that big, and I will try to hit you, and I now wish I had more trample. <laughs> yes. Oh, also, I will be going into this next game with a little bit of game memory, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> Always. Nick, what do you got? Uh, we're playing Yorn, God of Winter. Uh, we actually might play uh, the other side because of what's in my opening hand. Nice. Uh, we got Cauldron the Vime Staff. I can tap it to play a snow permanent card from my graveyard that turn, and if I do, it enters the battlefield tapped. So. Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, and I am running Mono White Goodness with Heliod Sun Crown. So I'm going to be gaining life, making counters, uh, profit. Not that Heliod, the other Heliod. Lenny, what do you got? Uh, I got Athreos, God of Passage. Uh, I'm running a bunch of terrible creatures that make you question whether or not it's worth three life. <laughs> Like God Is of Acid. Worth it. God of Dang. <laughs> Wow, shots fired. Okay. Uh so Lenny won the die roll. Really quick, once again, go check out our Patreon. Uh patreon.com slash scrap Lots of cool benefits there. Hit the follow buttons on whatever you're watching us on. Lenny, go ahead and kick us off for game two of this god started. dang pod. Rock hard. And I'm gonna play this god dang scoured baron. <laughs> <laughs> Every oh, yeah. that makes it my goddamn turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll try. <laughs> I'll go ahead and force pass. All right, I will draw. Um, well, that's interesting. Uh, we are going that's to. A Stop it. <laughs> like nice tunnel, and we'll pass. What? What a nice tunnel. Your what tunnel? Nice tunnel. <laughs> okay. Nice, <laughs> nice tunnel you get there. Untap and draw. All right, let's do planes. I got turn one play here. Cleric class. Ooh. So if I would gain a life, I gain that much life plus one instead. Uh, second really? second level, whenever I gain life, put a plus one plus one counter to target creature I control, so it basically doubles Heliod's ability. And third level, when this class becomes level three, return target creature card from my graveyard to the battlefield, I gain life equal to its toughness. Tough, tough, toughness. Uh, Lenny. All right. I'll put that off the draw. Uh, I will play a planes as my land for turn. And yo, I'm going to drop a doggo. <laughs> Spirited <laughs> companion. Drop one dog. Yeah. Oh. And uh, it enters the battlefield, I draw a card, and I will pass the turn. Uh, call him adorable. Dog Dropping Lenny. Adorable. <gasps> oh, I get it, because Dog, and then you turn it around. Yeah. He's God. There you go. <laughs> dog is God spelled backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it all My makes dog. sense now, everybody. Mm -hmm. That was so pass. intentional. <laughs> Um, all right. We're gonna... Let's, let's be smart, I guess. I don't want to be smart. It's boring. This game's freaking hard. Um, all right. Terramorphic Expands. Uh, I'll pay blue for my favorite rare from Kaldheim, Ascendant Spirit. Ooh, yeah, that is a gooder. So it's 1-1, one, one, Snow Creature Spirit. I can pay 2 Snow to make it a uh, base power 2-3, and it becomes a Spirit Warrior forever. Uh, I can pay 3 Snow. If it's the Spirit Warrior, uh, I give it flying. 
and then it's a spirit warrior angel that's now a 4-4 four, four, forever. Hmm. Then if I put if I use four snow mana, uh, if it's an angel, I put two counters oh. on it, and then it gains. When this creature deals combat damage to a player, draw a card, and yes, that stacks. Yeah. I will sack this for a snow cover forest, and we'll pass the turn. Alright, untap. Upkeep draw. Let's do planes and a marble diamond, Pastelini. Alright, untap, upkeep draw. Yo, all these planes, I get in so many of them. Um, and I don't love that. Uh, oh, yeah, I have a commander. We're going to cast that. Athreos. And I will pass the turn. Athreos, Pathreos. Nice. Uh, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. We're playing old school commander, you guys. I'm gonna turn three commanders here. Ooh. Nice. So fancy. I can hear you shaking in fear. <laughs> you can cold. sack that to draw a card after tapping it. That's too good. It's really good. I'll pass. <laughs> you know, actually, I think commander sphere is oh, great. I'm so sorry. I can use this commander sphere. Oh my goodness. Second draw card. I'm gonna draw a card in second. I'm just kidding. I'm gonna <laughs> suspend a search for tomorrow. Hey, there you go. Nice. And I'll pass up. Yeah. Okay, draw. Well, 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 well. This isn't the consequences of my own actions. Um, <laughs> well, I really need the lands too. Uh, we will pay two mana for a meritly just slumber. Uh, yeah. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield or another snow permanent enters, I scry one. On my upkeep, if I control ten or more snow permanents, I sacrifice it and I get Merit Lage. Can 2020 we just... flying indestructible. And he's not handling your cards. I will scry one. You <laughs> have to respect. Ooh. It's rated us. We have to respect Merit Lage. Yeah. All right. I'm just doing what I'm told. All right. Which also, if you haven't played against Fitz's Temet secret merit lage deck like treat yourself <laughs> i'm playing evolving wilds and uh we'll go to combat uh andy you're gonna be game life anyway take one i don't deserve that i mean he's not wrong though i'll pass turn don't care if he's right or wrong <laughs> i care if he hurts my feelings don't care if it's wrong or if it's right planes um... Mm. Yeah, ramp. Let's ramp. You're god dang right, Knight of Bawa. So... Don't enrage the lage. <laughs> <laughs> I cast a solemn simulacrum. All right. And I'm gonna go grab a planes, and I'll pass to Lenny. Okay. I'm gonna continue to vehemently not ramp, and I will play a swamp. <laughs> Yo, so I'm going to be the first person to do this and play not one but two gods. Oh, Whoa. Uh, yeah. Erebos Bleak Hearted, uh, five six indestructible. Uh, he activates on devotion five. Uh, if whenever another creature I control dies, I may pay two life. If I do, draw a card, and I can pay one in a black, sacrifice another creature. Target creature gets minus two minus one until end of turn. Yeah, that Erebus is uh, surprisingly um, inexpensive. Yes, and I nice. will pass the turn. How much is it? And surprisingly way good in this deck. Let's see. Lenny played two gods, Lenny wins. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny understood good. the assignment. He tried. <laughs> Can't keep up. Just show up um, like casting a god. Wow, it's only 222. Look at that. Right? Not bad. Oh, I did put Trample in the deck. I'm going to put a Rogue's Passage into play. Tap Ooh. three. Rogue's Passage. Just gonna, you're just going to breeze right through that like it's not a, not a, not a scary it's card. a huh? casual rogue P. <laughs> and Garrick's Uprising. There I'm we gonna go. I'm going to use it to cast a Garrick's Uprising. Well, uh, yeah. Yeah, 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 nothing, yeah. Nothing, no to nothing to see here, folks. Nothing to see here. Move along. It's just the end of my turn. It's not that big of a deal. Mm -hmm. right. Possibly the end of the world as we know it. <laughs> uh, and to both keep it draw. We're going to stack this right now to get a snow-covered island in the play. Right now? I don't trigger Merit just Slumber and I'll scry one. 
I just got some mad evasion on that turn. I could have used that last game. Okay. Yeah, go and Skrdai one. You want that on top. Hey, Adam. Um, we will play a snow-covered swamp. Scry one, leave it on top. Um, we will level up the spirit. Level up. So now it is uh, a spirit warrior. So it's a two, three. Pretty strong. Okay, go to combat. Let's be nice to Andy so you can start drawing cards. Andy, wait, am I flying? No, I'm not yet. Andy, I'll swing a two, three at you. Would you like to block? Sure. Cool. I See, the Chad, time. I'm nice to Andy. Lay off. <laughs> I'll pass the turn. <laughs> Don't listen to him. It's full of it. Untap. Upkeep draw. Um, yep, I'm out of lands now. Let's, um... Wait. Let's do one, two, three, four. I'm going to cast a Search the Premises. Ooh. Whenever a creature attacks me or a planeswalker I control, investigate. Nice. And that's nice. for each creature. So whenever a creature attacks me, I make a clue. Um, and that's uh, that's unfortunately all I've got. Go ahead, Lenny. Right. I'll just uh, do a casual untap, upkeep, draw. Play this land for turn. And uh, we're going to play a card that I cut a land for. <laughs> Must be Witch's good. Witch's Cauldron. Yes! Ooh. Witch! <laughs> Burn so the I witch. can uh, pay one and a black and tap it, sacrifice a creature, I gain a life and draw a card. Adam, I am so sorry. I know you said stuff about nothing happening to the doggo, but like, oh, a card draw. No. A card draw. Oh, no. But you know what? That's up to my co-hosts. What happens to this dog? <laughs> Are they going to save it from the shelter? Dog, you can't do that. We're taking that oh dog to the town. I will pass. This dog dirt. gets put down. It's our fault. That's that's awful. <laughs> yes. Here, you're a monster. A you're monster. a monster. <laughs> do you want some hot dog soup? <laughs> hot dog soup. What? What are you talking about? Bobby, you're muted. Dang it! We're gonna search for tomorrow trigger. Well, I guess I'll take my turn after Lenny did that thing to that dog. <laughs> I have done nothing he to the dog he didn't, yet. He didn't do it. He threatened to do it. He oh, yeah. threatened to hurt his dog. The cauldron is right there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this mountain into play. Um, this is fun. I'm gonna have a good time with this turn. I'm gonna draw. I hope so. I'll put a mountain into play. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five, six. I will cast Inferno Titan. Ooh, ooh. No! Spicy. Feels good. Inferno Titan will enter. Baruch's Uprising will trigger. I will draw. Inferno Titan will deal three damage divided as I choose. Does anything on the board have one toughness? <laughs> yeah there's that spirit warrior is gonna get bigger though yeah, yeah. That, that is true yeah I, I mean i would hit the spirit warrior i'm gonna try and send three damage to the spirit my spirit, spirit has been broken the sky. Yeah. it's Take the that. spirit's fault for not being as cute as this dog <laughs> Should have um, been a after dog. after that i'll pass all right untap upkeep draw um, that's not a hydra I lied to you guys. Yeah, play an opulent palace tapped. Look at this combo three mana, cauldron the rhyme staff. 
What does your what does your stick do? <laughs> Don't ask that. Just gonna um, we're gonna ask a man what his stick does. <laughs> oh, I can describe one as well. I didn't Look at even that. buy him dinner first. Ooh, do I want that? What does it do? Huh. Yeah, I do. That I one's gonna this... stay on top. So uh, I can tap it to play a target snow permanent from my graveyard this turn. If I do, it enters battlefield tapped. So I will do that. Look, ascendant spirits back. Stop oh. killing it. I'll pass. Yeah, what a nerd. All right. Uh, untap. <laughs> Stop calling your name. <laughs> <laughs> Draw. Hey, look, there's a land. Um. <clears throat> Going to one, two, three, four. I'm going to play a Hedron Archive. And then I'll pay two for a Sun Droplet. Oh. So whenever I'm dealt damage, I put the many charge counters on it. And at the beginning of each upkeep, I may remove a charge counter from it. And if I do, I gain a life. So that's that. Um, I think I should be done. Go ahead, Lenny. All right. At your end step. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna crack the, <laughs> the dog. The dog, no! Not the dog! Uh, uh let's see, uh, Bobby Christine, can I have the dog back? Um, ooh. Are you gonna really let him sacrifice this dog over and over again? No, I, I, let I, the I, dog I'm rest. I'm gonna take three damage. Okay. I All right, all I will, uh, Erebus, I will lose two Not life. that one. And draw a card. And then this happens, and I will gain... Oh, sorry, I gained the life already. So, yeah, uh, I would be at 40, and then I will draw the card. So now I, I have to live with sending a dog to the grave. Thanks, Lenny. I am just horrid like that. <laughs> <laughs> draw. Okay, what are we going to play? We're going to play Commander. Um... I'll tell you what. We don't have to have it be a dog. A <laughs> it's a baby this time. <laughs> uh, we'll do the clattering auger. So I'll lose a life and draw a card. Uh, let's play the doomed traveler. Doomed. Nice card to play. Uh, you know what? We'll play it out now. I'll play Tortured Existence. Yes, Torax, let's go! So, Tortured Existence, for those of you who don't know, is somehow a common um, <laughs> one black enchantment. Uh, and then for one black, choose and discard a creature card, return target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This is a dollar now. Um, <laughs> it won't be forever. Pick them up, and I will pass the turn. Cool. Let's oh, untap. Like one more thing. Oh, well, I'm not playing. You're good? You sure? Uh, you know what? Yeah, I, I would like to play my last thing, if that's do okay. It, do it, do it, do it. Okay. <sighs> I will play All See It of Life's Bounty, and now I will nice. pass the turn. Very nice. Life's I'll is untap Upkeep Draw. You guys think on my Inferno Titan attack trigger I should blow up three of Lenny's things? Or is that what he wants? That's what he wants. But should I still do it? Yeah. Fripples, if, right? If you're, yeah, I mean, he's, he'll just have to recast them, I guess. Mm. I get to recast them. He, get, he gets <laughs> to recast them. Hmm. Let's, yeah, we should probably make you burn those resources, huh? Sure. Sure. All right. I must consider. I'm going to tap two. I'm going to cast Thrill of Possibility. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
As an additional cost, I'm going to discard Open the Omen Pass. I'll draw two. Oh, man. Oh, man, oh. Pads. Um, I don't remember if I played a land per turn. No. I don't think I, I don't yeah, think I did. did. Nope. Okay. Uh, I drew a land. I'll play it. I'm going to put it into play. And then what I will do... Oh! I have a really strong commander. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I'll tap five. <laughs> and I'll cast Xenagos. God of nonsense. <laughs> That's right. Oh my goodness. I'll move to combat. <laughs> the thing's gonna get trample and plus six plus six. Yikes. Yeah, it's gonna be a big Xenagos Inferno will make <laughs> Inferno its eye in its wealth well. I will declare an attacker straight at Nick. <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> Attack triggers on this deck. I will attempt to target Doomed Traveler, Augur, and Alsaid. Okay. It's good. Yeah! <laughs> I, 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 um, I will ask you. Uh, Augur, can I have it back? Oh, I have 37 so much life. I am. I just feel so dangerous. Let's well, the auger and just get it that back. right. That one I will not pay three. You can't have that okay. one. Doom Traveler. Let's pay the three. Okay, I'll see it. Let's not pay the three on that one. Okay. Um, I make a spirit because Doom Traveler died. Uh, also, I will go ahead and I'll just pay six. And I will draw three cards for the three creatures I have that died. Oh, wow. Nice. I'm getting chunked. Six HP total, or is it... Oh yeah, eight. because it's two for each one. Beautiful. And then we move to damage, and then it takes lots of it. Oh yeah. That's what I like to do. Yeah! Get him. My turn's over. All right. Oh, we lived. On to the peep draw. Play a forest. Snow covered forest, that is. I will scribe one. Keep that on top. Um, so we need Sun Spirit to survive Infernal Titan. So we'll make it a Spirit Warrior. And we'll spend three to make it a 4 4 Warrior, Spirit Warrior Angel with flying. Okay. Yay, we did it. Nice. Um, well, that thing's not blocking anytime soon. So cool. Um, I guess I'll go to combat. Andy! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Since you think it's so cool, take four! Get him. <laughs> Alright, I'll make a clue. See, I'm helping you draw cards. I'm so nice to Andy, chat. Look at this. Out of the kindness of my heart. Shot it. All right. Uh, I'm going to take four. And put four counters on my droplet. Okay, I'm done. Cool. Under your turn, I'm going to sacrifice this clue. Thanks to draw a card. Oh, this is also awesome attack. You're welcome. All right. Friend. On tap. Upkeep, Sun Droplet. I take one off, I gain a life. Cleric class says, hey, why don't you take two? And I'll say, okay. And then I'll draw a card. I only hit him for two, guys. Uh, let's do... Ooh. Planes. Um, three, four. Heliod. The sun crowned. Yeah. Yeah. Then we get. There's not a creature behind me. Six. Um. I get some 
creatures on the board, so I'm just going to play this Sun Titan, even though it doesn't do me any good right now with the recursion, but it's still a big boy. Sun Titan! And he wakes up Heliod, so that's good. Um, and then that's, uh, that's all I'm going to do. Pestilenny. All right, I'll untap. This situation is scary. At your upkeep, so I'm going to use Sun Droplet to... Gain a life. Cleric class will make it two. Oh, it's and each upkeep? Ew. At the beginning of yeah. each upkeep. Yep. I'll put a counter on Sun Titan. With Helios. I'll play my land for turn. Uh, DC, are we cool? Are we cool? Yeah, we're you pretty cool. What? We're pretty cool, okay. yeah. For sure, for okay. sure. Uh, the show. show. The show. I've got ten cards in my hand. Um... I like your deck, so part of me wants to find out too. Uh, well, the other one what? is taken for a Titan to the face. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna we're gonna play the flump again. <gasps> Love it. Now we're really good. Love that flump. Uh, we're gonna also play. Ah, uh, you know what? This is a trust move. Because I'm kind of excited to play this card and try it out in the deck. Skurstag High Priest. So, <laughs> so one, two. It has Morbid. Tap it. Tap two untapped creatures you control. Create a 5-5 five, five black demon uh, token with flying. And mm. activate this only if a creature died this turn. Um. I gotta guess I gotta pitch something if I'm well yeah the problem is I can just literally cast everything in my deck <laughs> that's a problem <laughs> this is horrible you guys it's horrible it's the worst oh, uh, well what I can do is I will just cast the uh The Alciad will come back. And that leaves Yo. me at a cool seven. And then maybe I can get some people... I can get the dog back if I don't have to do anything crazy. I'll pass the turn. And also, I need to have a real conversation with my man about just leaving the dinner next to me because I can <laughs> smell it. And it's just like, I need to eat, but I don't want to chew on stream. Uh, Bobby Welcome Christine. to the Scrap Trawler's mukbang. In your upkeep, I'll activate. I'll do the Sun Droplet. Gain two life. Dinner is important. I wouldn't blame you. Yeah. Oh, you know what? We have the one. classic untapped upkeep draw. Land for turn. Hmm, I didn't think Sun Droplet would be this good. <laughs> it's really good. It's really good That's in this deck. Sweet. I must consider what I do. This combo with Claire class. I'm going to move to combat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Xenagos is going to target my Inferno Titan, making it a 12 12 trample. Mm -hmm. Haste. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Not bad, right? Pretty, it's pretty sweet. It's pretty sick. Sick. Pretty sick, huh? Yeah. Um. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I feel like everyone's a good target. Mm -hmm. Cards in hand. Three. Five. Sorry, muted. Uh, seven. Lenny's probably the wisest attack. I said Ready? we were good, though. Didn't I? You did. You, you did. did. Um, he asked you if you're good, that, and you said kind of like exactly? you kind of half-heartedly agreed <laughs> with it. As yeah. it stands, though, I do have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I have um, both Erebos and Athreos active. All right. Here's what I will do. I'm gonna tap four, and tap my Rogue's Passage to make Inferno Titan unblockable. 
forgot about that. I'm gonna send 12 at Lenny. Okay. Uh, I can't do a thing about that. Where's the three damage going? With attack triggers on the stack, I'll do one damage to... Does Fluff only count combat damage? Uh, no. Uh, Lenny, I'll <laughs> send all of these at Flump if you let me draw all three of them. Um, I think, so you wouldn't draw all three. Uh, because it's just, they're not separate instances of the, uh, Aww, thing. It's one instance of damage that you can put around. Three damage divided, so it would only be one of one so you could just hit Flump with one of them and send the other to uh, somebody's face. Somebody named right, Nick. right, right. Not bad, not bad. Nick, you have no. You have a four power creature on board and a one power creature on board. Um, sorry, this is the uh, the four four. Just got marking it because it it's very hard to read. Got it, got it, got it. I'm gonna send one damage to Flump, and if you'll let me draw the card, Lenny. If. Uh, what are what are you gonna do for me? You're already swinging. <laughs> yeah, I don't. You'll like, get why? to draw not, a card. You're not exactly making like sweet offers to to. He'll get to lot. draw a card. It's baked in. To the baked. Uh... But uh, maybe we can. You know what? No, it's fine. You can draw your card. Okay, I'll do one damage to Flump, and I'll send two damage to Nick's face. No. Yeah, Return. take that face. My face. I'll draw a card. Thanks for being so patient with me. <laughs> um. And then Lenny took 12. Is that right? Yes. Lenny taking that hot, unblockable 12. Post combat, tapping 3. And casting Galanra. Caller of the Wirewood. Nice. It's good. One of my commanders in one of my other decks. I, like I will pass. I will end my turn. All right. Seven Spirit lifts. Upkeep. Uh, remove a counter from Droplet to gain two life. I'll draw. Play a snow covered island. I will scribe one. I'm putting this counter on Heliod. Uh, is this useful right now? No. Yeah, eh. Eh. I kind of like what what Andy's got going on, so we don't want that. Okay. Hey, Bobby Christine. What's up? Hey, hey. How much does a Kraken weigh? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, a, a crack load. Enough to break the ice. Hi. <laughs> My name's Icebreaker Kraken. Uh-oh. Uh, so it costs one less for each snow and I control, which is one, two, three, four, five, six... So it's going to cost six. So one, um, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so when it ETBs, uh, artifacts, creatures, artifacts and creatures target opponent controls don't untap during their player's next untap step. That's you! Bobby Christine. What's happening on my What? Your stuff, uh, your artifacts and creatures do not untap during your next untap step. Ew. Ew. Mm -hmm. Also, I will scribe one. This essentially locks out my Inferno Titan. Just for one turn. Right on. Is Xenagos uh, a creature? Devotion is currently six. Six. Okay. We need a hot seven. Hot. Oh, yeah, it doesn't tap things down, it just keeps them tapped if they're already tapped. Mm -hmm. Um I'm not gonna this nice eight eight for blocking. Um if I keep attacking Andy, he'll just keep getting stronger. Do it. Oh, this on. sucks. Clue baby. No Clue me. Stop saying that. Clue me. I don't like this. <laughs> <laughs> um I think I'm just gonna hang out and pass turn. We've Come made on. enough enemies for Come one for one turn. Just clue me a little. Come on. Just give me a little. Raging clue? Alright. Oh, by the way, I will make it known now. Merit Lage will wake up on my turn. Okay, so let's not give him another turn. Untap. <laughs> Jeez! <laughs> Keep draw. 
I need it for blocking. You Let's guys can have do... indestructible things. Why can't I? Okay. <laughs> I want my stuff. Um, Soul Warden. Um. <sighs> Three for a pristine talisman. It begins. It has begun. Oh, Lord. Mm -hmm. I will also so it's more visual for chat. I love those thighs. Oh yeah, those are nice. Put them in the text box. I could. I also can't find my Merit Lage token, but I have one somewhere. We had a Tap this for colorless. So I'll gain a life. I can find it. I just realized this is flying spirit. And I'll put a counter on the Soul Warden. Oop. Tap this. Oh, actually, I gained two life. Because of the cleric class. Um, I'm going to use Heliod to give Sun Titan lifelink. I will go to combat, and Sun Titan is going to go at Bobby Christine. Uh oh. Eight eight with Life Link and Vigilance. Attack trigger. I have nothing in my graveyard that I can bring back. I'll take eight. Okay. Um, I will gain nine. Not 54. What's going on over there? Over where? Who? What? You're making noises. Yeah, who's doing that? Nick, are you like packing right now for your trip? No, I'm looking for a Merit Lage token. <laughs> nice. Found a Ragavan token. Ooh. One half of a Worm Coil token. The other half of the Worm Coil token. That's sick. Those are kind of worth a little something, I think. Okay, um, I'm going to go to my end step and pass the turn. All right, at your end step, I will activate Tortured Existence. I will discard the Clattering Augur to get back the Doggo so I can redeem myself for chat. <laughs> there you go. It's all yes. for you, chat. I don't know. I think it's irredeemable. <laughs> You know what's not irredeemable, chat? Those channel points you got, go ahead and click on one of those things. Yeah, we need to and, make Nick uh, do some drawings tonight. Oh, I can draw Merit Lage for you because apparently I uh, can't find my copy. There you go. That works. I need to figure out some way to survive all this, so I'm going to get some life. If you want to see how I draw uh, spaghetti, go ahead and redeem that thing. I will play <laughs> a Thrall Parasite. Uh, it yeah, has oh. extort. And Stuart. I can pay, tap it, pay two, and remove a counter to uh, remove a counter, or sorry, to just remove a counter from target non-land permanent. Ooh, that's really uh, good. Let's... Yeah. Hmm. Ooh, I have a foil skeleton token. I have multiple. I'm going to play Cruel Celebrant. I will extort uh, the Cruel Celebrant. Yeah. I know. Cool. So everybody loses a life, and I gain that much. Thanks, I hate it. <laughs> I'm here for it. Um... <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm okay with this. I will just pass the turn now. How big is Merit Large? Uh, it'll be a twenty twenty indestructible with flying. It will yeah, become. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't do anything yes. about that. How much time? Uh, as soon as you end your turn. <laughs> when my turn ends? On my upkeep. 
But it won't have oh, haste because my. Merit Lage is a sleepy girl. Oh, oh I'm gosh. sorry. I actually am still beginning life for Lenny's creatures. Of course, Andy. Of course. Yeah. I'm going to untap upkeep draw. How dare you. Forget your triggers. I know. I'm the worst. Okay, I have no Merit Lage token that I know of. I'm going to put a Temple of Boss God into play. Um, Nick, I... I think the only way I won't try to kill you right now is if that. Well, once the Merit Lage is out, it doesn't have vigilance, does it? No, it has flying and indestructible, and I just need it for blocking your giant creatures. And Andy's giant creatures. And one of Lenny's demons once they appear. The only way I don't send straight hell at you right now <laughs> is if when Merit Lage comes out, you attack either Andy or Lenny with it. I will make you a better deal. Uh huh. So I have your favorite um, pillar in my hand. Oh no! And if you don't send any more creatures at me, I won't send Merit Lage at you until you're the last one alive. How about that? that? That's a good deal. It's Wait, like a truce. Do you have to tell me about the pillar? Yeah, it's fine. Everyone loves the ice bind pillar. No, we don't. Huh. Hate You're gonna get the friend. pillar. You're gonna get the pillar and it's gonna be out. And that beat me in my last game, so I can't take that deal. <laughs> it was attempting. No deal. Nick, you got some so. stuff to draw, buddy. I don't know if you saw chat. Oh, what's up? You got a couple things you gotta Flump, draw. but it is as big as Emrakul. Wait, oh, I gotta th oh three drawings? Oh yeah, three okay, drawings. hold on. Merit Lage. Plum. I like that. It... Well, what? <laughs> Merit is epic, but we've seen plenty of this tonight. We've seen plenty. Uh, Knight, I don't know if Nick do. speaks French. Is that like a only do fromage thing? It's only French I know. I speak a little. Uh, let me look at it. Like every little French thing. No, I don't even know how to mouton. read. Here's what I'll do. Okay, yeah, The Little Prince has been translated into English like a whole bunch of times. Really depressing fairy tale, to be honest. Okay. I'm going to tap 11. 13 mana. 11. I'm going to tap 13 mana. I'm going to tap okay. 11 mana. There we go. Six, seven, eight. How much is it? Sorry, let me double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Damn, so close. Just one more. Oh, also, Merit Lage will not wake up if one of my creatures dies. Interesting. Because I need ten snow permanents uh, before my upkeep. I guess on my upkeep. Okay, that's fine. Um, not what you were saying. In my brain, I was figuring something out. Um, I'm gonna cast Apocalypse Hydra. X is nine. I love Apocalypse Hydra. This is one of my OG cards. Oh my gosh! It takes you me way back. Strike. I'm gonna draw a card with Galanra. When it enters, I'm gonna draw a card with Garuk's Uprising. Are you thinking of Savage Born? Oh, maybe. So it comes that's in as a eighteen eighteen. Is that correct? Um, X was not ten or more, unfortunately. What well, says if X is? Oh, five it says or five or more. Oh, okay, yeah, never mind. Then it'll be an eighteen eighteen. <laughs> Yikes! Oopsies! It's not like the finale. I didn't realize that I was so. Okay, that'll be an eighteen. Mm -hmm. And I will move to the combat phase. Now that I'm in the combat phase, I will have Xenagos make Apocalypse Hydra a 36-36 trample haste. Job. What? It gives it trample? This is everything! Yeah, apparently she's not on the field. I'm just drawing no, it for it's the, uh, the, uh, the Garouk's uprising. Oh, Garouk's has trample. Oh. 36 trample, Nick. <gasps> oh. <laughs> yeah, I deserve that. Uh, I guess a double blocking. Uh, I'm going to block... 
12 of it. Dang. You're gonna block 12 of it. Yeah, with the with the Kraken and the Ascendant Spirit. Okay. I'll respond to the block. Response to the block. She look look at her face. She's like, <laughs> am I gonna die? <laughs> no, I'm my dead. face. Oh no! I'm so Boy, sorry. I'm so dead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna count it. I am actually dead. Hey, Anna! Thank you for the raid, friend. Mm -hmm. Welcome. Like the apocalypse, Hydra. Oh Wait, my goodness. Wait, thirty-six minus twelve. What is that? Twenty-four. <laughs> I live. No, it's thirty-six doubled. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. already it's, doubled. It's a seventy-two yeah. power, buddy. It's doubled Wait, twice. What? It went it's from 72. nine to eighteen to thirty-six, right? It went from 18 no. to 36. No. Oh, I missed that one. X, no, yeah, X was 9. Yep. He's no. dead! I killed I still him! Need to draw my the stuff. evil has been defeated! No, it's so cool. <laughs> Hi, Anna. <laughs> Thank you for coming just in hey, time for Thanks for the raid! But, you know, on the bright side, you got all that time to draw those tokens now. Yeah. <laughs> And That's true. go pack for your trip, I guess. Like you I'm were doing. Packed. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, Andy, you called it the jank bank. I forgot about that. <laughs> what? Okay. What's wrong with that? Huh? <laughs> the same thing that's pound town wrong. <laughs> Jane, I think Bobby Christine just took you to pound town for 72 oh, wow. damage. Yeah. Well, you know, the, first, the, the first national jank bank resides in downtown USA. <laughs> first oh, citizens no. jank bank. Okay, so what was the second thing? The, What's the French on thing? The French thing? You gotta Where draw Flump, oh, but it's as big as M. Recall. Yeah. It oh, yeah. was Des Adams' request. And then you have to draw, like, a sheep on a planet with a rose. A Is sheep on rose? a planet with a rose? Okay, like Mario yeah. Galaxy. I, I mean, honestly, I suspect that when they made Mario Galaxy, they read The Little Prince. Nice. Hmm. On main two, I'm going to put a Gruel Turf into play, bounce the land, end the turn. Alright. Thanks for taking my murder, Nick. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Out of curiosity, <laughs> do Nick's creatures count as dying? Because this is kind of important. Uh, if he blocked... The blocking one is void. Okay, then yeah, before uh, BC passes her turn, mm -hmm. I'm going to tap mm -hmm. the Skirstag High Priest, a, the Cruel Celebrant, and the, the All Seed of Life's Bounty to make a demon. Like, this is the first time I've ever seen that ability pop up. <laughs> uh, you know what? Me too. All right. Cool. Do uh, sheep have tails? I don't know. Go to my turn. And upkeep. I don't have anything for upkeep. But I will draw. I'm gonna pay two using the pristine talisman, so I'll gain two life. Um, I'll put a counter on the Sun Titan. We use those two to sacrifice the Hedron Archive to draw two cards. Okay, and then a flump as big as Emrakul. Okay. Uh, play my land for turns. The field of ruin. Let's make it OG Emrakul. And so Xenagos is still not online. Xenagos is now online. I okay. should have updated this. Okay. Hmm. 
Um, I don't know who's the bigger problem here. If you can't I mean, tell, then it's you! <laughs> Swinging. Well, eventually you're gonna. Um, seven. I will. Go to combat. I will send the I'll send the Sun Titan at Bobby Christine. It's a nine nine. What's that Sun Titan up to? It's attacking you. I I'll do. attempt to block it with my six five indestructible Zenicos. You got it. Um, before damage, I'm going to use Heliod to give it lifelink. Sick. Yeah. So I will gain 10 life. Lenny, get us out of this. Save us, Lenny. Um, okay, I'll, I'll see what I can do. <laughs> the last time Lenny tried to save us, I won. So maybe it'll go well this time. <laughs> Then, okay, um, second main, I'm going to blow up the Rogue's Passage. God damn it. With my Field of Ruin. Destroy target non-basic land and opponent controls. Each player searches their library for basic land card, puts it on the battlefield, then shuffles their library. All right. Nice. I'm, go, go find a basic land, then. How we doing, chat? Planes. Swamp. And he's at a very nice life total. Nice. <laughs> Looks like he visited that one time. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, is that tapped or untapped? Untapped. Oh, okay then. That changes a lot of things. Okay. Um, and then I will go to my end step. And pass the turn. Right. I got a couple things. Uh, I'm going to sacrifice the spirit with the witch's cauldron. Uh, I will gain a life, and I'm going to choose not to do the Erebos thing. And mm -hmm. I'll just gain a life and draw a card, because I am desperate, y'all. And then, uh, can I do anything else? Oh, okay. Now I understand Apocalypse Hydra. It was five. Okay. Yeah. That got me too. I'm I totally died. <laughs> I know. Uh, it's all just so difficult and frustrating. For sure. Okay. Wow, well, I needed to do that very differently. That's okay. I will untap. A peep. Andy does not have flyers, so that's that's a thing. Bug. Does that demon have a top hat? Yes, it does. <laughs> nice. It's a Bloodborne demon. I will play a land for turn. We're gonna play... Uh... Willow the Wisp. And I'll extort it. And gain two. Okay. You lose one. Two. I'll play Wall of Omens. I'll extort it, right. and I'll gain two. Um, I'm getting uh, gaining life for both of those, so I'll gain four. You are. Uh, hmm. Did you want to change your mind on that? No, it's fine. I'll just remember for next time. Uh, I do draw a card off the Wall of Omens. I'll go to combat. Andy. 
mm-hmm. hot five five demon action in the air oh, coming oh, at you. So sexy. I love to hear that. Yeah, uh, I got nothing. Okay. Uh, then with that, I will uh, pass the turn. I'm gonna put five counters on Sun Droplet. Oh God, it is like that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Or like, whose deck is more inevitable? Bobby and Christine, <laughs> thank you for taking me out so I don't have to deal with this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, BC, you're up. Let's untap. What is going on out here? We could have been friends. What is we happening out here? <laughs> um, okay, let's untap. Do I attack Andy because he has the highest total, or do I attack Lenny because I'm just more likely to actually kill somebody that way? No input, huh? <laughs> uh, 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 uh. Historically, <laughs> I've found that it works well to kill them both at the same time. Uh huh. Historically. I would suggest. Andy. Oh, suggest unkeep Andy. Sun Droplet. And Andy, what do you suggest? Um, do what you gotta do. Okay, that's one vote for Andy and one vote for do what I gotta do. So it looks like Andy is <laughs> the one who's gonna get attacked. <laughs> I'm gonna put this mountain into play. But he's such a nice life total. I am going to... It is nice. Contemplate many good things. You took my rogue's passage, actually. Yeah, you got it coming. I got it coming. See? Um, here's what I'll do. Um. Yeah. What's your largest creature? Uh, that'd be Sun Titan is a nine nine. Cool. I'm gonna do something. I'm gonna tap two. I've had this card since I was a literal child. It's the first time <laughs> I've ever casted it in Commander. Yep. Feels really good. Takes me back. I'm gonna cast Avatar of Might. Oh. Yes, love it. Thanks You're for right. having 10,000 creatures. This is a two mana for an 8 8 trample. Ooh. Mm-hmm. That's a thing. Pretty sick, if you ask me about it. I didn't. <laughs> okay. I will gain like, a life. What are you <laughs> wow. I, I would like to know, because like, I opened so much prophecy in high school. and uh, I'm going to yeah. gain life from the Soul Warden. I'm going to adjust how I pay for that, tapping Galanra. As I cast Avatar of Might, I'll draw a card with Galanra, and when Avatar of Might enters the battlefield, I will draw a card with Garuk's Uprising. Mm-hmm. I will move to combat. Before combat, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to respond to you trying to enter combat. Um, I'm going to... Lies. I'm going to Swords to Plowshares Zenigod. Okay. That will have Xenagos exiled. I'll gain six. Yep. I gained your life. I'm going to um declare one attacker, eighteen eighteen trample at Andy. Okay. I'll make a clue. The search the premises. Um and I will um, I will block with Heliod, which will soak up eight. Very nice. Unless I could to- totally make it seven. Get it, Lenny. So not worth it, though. You know what? <laughs> it feels so not worth it. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Okay. So I'll take mm, ten. Or mm. yeah, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Excelente. I'll put 10 Post counters combat. on the sun droplet. I'll tap 7 and cast Senegos. Okay. Soul Warden triggers because it comes in as a creature. I'm going to draw a card with Garuk's Uprising. I will then tap 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. I will cast Garuk Primal Hunter. Oh, Yay. yeah. Yay! Okay, when Garuk resolves, I'm going to activate minus three. 
he'll abandon me, and I'll draw 18 cards. Oh. Abandon you. Lord. <laughs> he abandoned you. What a jerk. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Gotta, I'll have a quick looky loo yeah, at this. You got game. a reliquary tower in there? Uh, sure don't. <laughs> I'm going to tap my commander's sphere and cast a Findhorn Elves. Alright, I'll gain. I'll life. end my turn there with the discard. I'll gain life from the Soul Warden. Uh, end of your turn, I'm going to crack this clue to draw a card. Untap, upkeep, take a counter off the sun droplet to gain two life, and I'll put another counter on Heliod. And I'll draw. Um, planes. Uh, let's see. One. Two, three. I'll gain two life from the pristine talisman, and we'll do that here. Oh, the Aeon's torn. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna cast Unbreakable Formation. Rot row. Okay. So my creatures will gain indestructible. I cast it during my main phase. So I'm gonna put a plus one plus one counter on each of them, and they'll gain vigilance. And then I'm going to pay five for a Fumigate. Oh, no. Nice. Destroy all creatures. Okay. I gain one life for each creature destroyed this way. That is the sound of inevitability. Mm. All right. Well, I've got a few things to do here. Oh, i got something to say. Okay. Yeah, How are we going to do this? All right. Fumigate is on the stack. Stuff is indestructible. This is fine. Uh, we're gonna utter end the Sun Titan. No! I love it. I love it. Ta. You biatch. <laughs> I knew Lenny would save us. <laughs> You're like, ah. Uh... All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready to ready to go to uh, go to die. Resolving. Yeah, wants to resolve the fumigate. Okay. Your creatures. I have nothing to say die. about this. And uh, count them for me. Oh yeah. Likewise. Five. Uh. Seven. And the demon? Oh, sorry, eight. Yeah, the demon. Uh, the demon. So, 13 creatures are dying? Mm -hmm. Alright, so... Uh, Lenny, your blood... Your celebrant triggers, so you'll gain... Seven. You'll gain seven? Uh, yeah, I don't gain it for everybody. Okay, and we lose seven? Uh, yep. I lose seven? Oh, no. Okay. Yeah, sorry, I couldn't then, stop that. Uh, not bad, not bad, okay. not bad. <laughs> Team uh, I'll gain uh, 13. Actually, it'll be 14. Let's see. For Claire class. Well, hang on. We got we, we, we got to do a few things. Uh, nice. You gain 13 first, because that happens with uh, that. And then we lose 7. Uh, and then, what are we doing first? And then I've got Heliod trigger, so I'll put a counter on Heliod. First of all, um... Pick me, let me pick me. 
Me, 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 me. Yeah, first of all, what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to go to 30, and I will draw three cards off of Erebos. Cool. Oh, fuck. Heli uh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Heliod is no longer a creature. Uh-huh. What? One, two... That utter hand just four. ruined my life. <laughs> Your god dang day. Can I have the Cruel Celebrant back? Um, I'm not paying any life for any of triggers that you target me with. Okay. Uh, Andy, what do you feel about the rest? <laughs> I'll pay for them. Take your pick. Okay. I'll pay for How many is that? Right. Six? Yep. Okay, so I lose life. 18. Gnarly. Uh, bring me down to 58. No? Is that right? Yeah, 58. Ooh, 50, great. Is that all resolved then? Yep. Okay. Uh, are either of your gods awake, Lenny? No, they are not. Okay. Um, go to combat, mm -hmm. and I'll hit you for seven. Okay, I will take seven. Sick plays, Lenny. Sick plays. Thank you. Okay. I will pass the turn. Sick plays, Andy. Sick plays. Mm. Alright. Untap. Would have been a lot better without that other end. Man. Good <laughs> plays, Nick. Good plays. Right. Upkeep. Uh, was, uh... Sun, <laughs> sun droplet <laughs> trigger. Land for turn. Stop it. I will play high market. Hi, Mark. Hi. Nice. Uh, we'll play the Cruel Celebrant again. I gain two life. I'll play Carrion Feeder. Sick. Give me two. One, two, three. I will play Grey Merchant of Asphodel. Jeez. Oh, You're an Asphodel. Well, oh, never mind. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Misheard right. that. Got defensive. Didn't mean it. Uh, how much is that? Game two. Eight. And then we're losing eight. Yep. And I will gain 16. I'm supposed to be the life gain deck. Lenny. Uh, yeah. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go back to 39. And I got uh, nothing else. I'm really feeling up to doing, so I will pass. All right, all right. And as McConaughey would say, a <laughs> third, all right. <laughs> Untap, upkeep, draw. Upkeep, I'll do the sun droplet game two. You know, I built the deck to do a thing. And I got the damn. Oh, did anyone take their eight for. Uh... I did. Damn okay. the consequences. What am I taking eight for? Ma I merchant. Great merchant, yeah. It hurts. Okay, here's what happens. Oh my gosh, why is this happening? Oh, I made a major... Oh well, oh well, that's fine. This is fine. All... Why does it have so much... <laughs> Burning dog, money? this is fine. <laughs> uh, fine, okay. I'm gonna tap two. Uh, I'm gonna tap more than that. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Going big. X is going to be seven mm -hmm. Lord, for Neverwinter Hydra. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, with this Hydra resolves, when it enters, I'm going to roll 7d6. <laughs> it will get counters equal to the results. This creature has Trample, Ward 4. I'm going to go ahead and grab some dice. Just put those all those die onto Neverwinter Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need more large ones. Okay, there they are. I will now roll 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven die. Here it goes. Scoot those over a little bit. I'm gaming. Look, I'm gaming. Yahtzee. <laughs> Yahtzee. <laughs> Now, this is like some ninth level wizard fireball business that's happening right here. Well, actually, maybe, <laughs> maybe seventh level wizard, but still really good. Four, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. It's a twenty twenty. Hmm. That feels pretty good. I'm gonna move to combat. Now that I've arrived to the combat phase, my Xenagos will act- Oh, I'm so sorry. Before I arrive to the combat phase, as Neverwinter Hydra enters, I'm going to draw a card with my Garuk's Uprising, and then move to the combat phase. We are going to send, with the Xenagos ability on the track, on the stack, targeting the Neverwinter Hydra, making it a 40-40 haste. I'm also going to gain life for Soul Warden for the creature. Yeah, I bet you are. Gonna. That sounds like the kind of thing somebody who's about to take 40 is going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny. Mm -hmm. I love you're attacking Ant. Yeah. Oh, I'm, uh, do I have to attack Andy? Did you go to No, you don't. You don't. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> Backpedal quick. <laughs> <laughs> Lenny. Okay. I'm going to attack you for 40 trample. Okay. Okay. <laughs> This is fine. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, cool. My gods <gasps> are. Oh my active. gosh! I'm so sorry. I only I forgot to roll a die. I missed one. <laughs> I rolled six die. I'm supposed to roll seven. I'm sorry. Ah, uh, it's a four. That's uh, an additional eight power on combat. Mm-hmm. Okay. Forty-eight. Great. I remember being alive. Okay. Uh, well, I block 10, 12, 16. You can't block. Hey, Sunday Cat. Thank you for the follow, friend. Happy to have you here. Happy Sunday. <laughs> Cat. Happy okay, Sunday yeah, I will uh, block 16 of it then. 48 minus 16 is your total. 32. Wait, no, wait. Yeah, 32. So I, uh, I'm at seven life. Uh, Great Merchant dies. <laughs> Marcelo dies. Uh, so, Bobby, Christine, can I have these back? I will pay three life. You cannot have the merchant back. Okay. So I'll get the cruel soul in her back. So I'm going to gain two. Everyone's going to lose two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, cool. Athreos <laughs> is not around, but Erebos still is. And I am absolutely not paying that life to, um, to yeah. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Good luck, Lenny. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, are you all done, Bobby Christine? I end my on my main two. I'm gonna cast the soul ring and then I'll pass. <laughs> Good. You need that soul ring. Good. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Sun droplet. Again. Two and I'll put a counter on Heliod. Draw a card. Really need some some card draw. Well, I got bad news for you, buddy. You're in mono white. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Made my bed, now I gotta lay in it. Here's a planes. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'll gain life from the pristine talisman one two and counter there uh, so that's four i'm going to cast the wanderer um i 
And that'll give me five devotions, so Heliod's back, baby. Um, Erebos is awake. Yeah. Hmm. Let's. I'm gonna minus two the wanderer. Exile. Erebos. <gasps> I'll sacrifice it to carrion feeder. Mm -hmm. Uh, what's a counter on carrion feeder? Bobby okay. Christine, can I have Erebos back? Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> I'll pay no life. Um, okay. I will go to combat. Let's go to combat. Both of these at Lenny. Okay. Oof. Mm, which one's bigger? Um, let's see. Heliod is a 14-14. The Soul Warden is a 13-13. Okay. Um, shoot. Can't do anything about that. So, uh... Oh! I will, oh. however, spite... I will spite play, and I will Kabira take down and do one damage to the Wanderer. <laughs> <laughs> Dealing one damage to the Wanderer. Spite, play, yeah. spite, play. <laughs> and I will James die. messed me up with a Kabira takedown today. That card is like <laughs> it's scary. Good. All right. Bye, Lenny. Bye. Main two, Andy. Yeah. Uh, second main. Life link on damage or no? Please. No. Uh... Ooh. I'm going to. I'm going to pay four to level up the cleric class. Level. So now I got a double Heliod ability. Oh boy. Okay. And then. Then I'll pass to Bobby Christine. Let's untap. We'll draw. I'm going to tap one, two, three, four. Never mind. I'm going to contemplate many things. I'm gonna, sorry, I keep repeating myself. <laughs> <laughs> Here's what I have decided to do. I'm going to move to combat. Yes. Uh, Xenagos is going to target my Neverwinter Hydra, making it a 48-48. Trample? Yeah. Um, I think with Xenagos' ability on the stack, I will first tap one, two, and X is going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to cast Ren's Run Hydra, rather not cast it. I'm going to activate its Reinforce X ability from my hand, putting ten counters on the Neverwinter Hydra. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Xenagos' ability will trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, I forget what it was going to be. 24. Now it's a 34. 34 yeah. times 68. 2 is 68. Huh. I... Strange, Andy. Almost nice. 
<laughs> I will attempt to attack Andy with the 68-68 Trample Haste Ward 4. Okay. Um, I'm going to make a clue. And then I declare no blocks. Do you have anything, uh -huh. anything before damage? Nothing before damage. We can move to damage. I'm going to cast Gideon's Sacrifice, targeting Heliod. <sighs> My sacrifice, burner, <laughs> burner. <laughs> so all damage that would be dealt to me or permanence I control this turn are dealt to Heliod. Uh-huh. Well, son of a gun. Son of a gun. I think that seals my fate. And I'd like to go out on my own terms, if that's okay. Blaze of glory? Mm, blaze of, just kind of blaze, blaze of dumbness. <laughs> you going to fling, fling it, fling it at yourself? I wish I could fling it. <laughs> Let me tell you, I wish I could fling it. Um, Gideon Sacrifice, highly underplayed card, by the way. I'm going to tap five. Majesty. Buy yours today. With five tapped, I'm going to cast Return of the Wild Speaker. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll draw 68 cards. Do it. Does that kill you? Let's see. <laughs> Ten. Ten. 30, 40, 50, 51, die. Yeah! <laughs> All right, victory! <laughs> Woo! Yes! Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Good game, friends. Good game. Wow. So, um... You know, before we head out, let's uh, let's take a minute to talk about these decks we built and what everybody thought of them. Bobby Christine, how did you uh, how did you like your Zenaga deck? I am thoroughly satisfied. I'm very happy. Thanks for letting me go crazy all over at the end there. That was fun. No, I thought I thought your deck was great. I, I knew as soon as you told me there was Zendigod, I was like, oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> You're probably just, like, <laughs> cheering, like, yes, I'm a life game deck, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was still, I was still very scared, because Zendigod is just so... He's horrifying, and it I wanted is. to be bad tonight, and I it got to horrifying. be bad tonight. Uh, Nick, tell us about uh, your, you game, you won game one with y Yorn. Jorn. Yeah, so the deck isn't really a budget deck like let's be honest like we know we don't include basic lands but yes we don't include basics the snow basics are like if i if i pull up the deck oh, in snow basics, archetype right. right now the cheapest version of the deck on tcg including the basic lands is still 80 dollars gotcha without basic because it goes of, right. to 48 dollars so nice. if you have the snow basics you can build uh jorn uh, if you don't, you know, if you want to spend the money, do it. It's fun. I'm keeping the deck. Um, so fun things you can do. Um, so as you saw, Conifer Worm just kind of spits on people. Kind of nice. Hydra Broodmaster was a backup because we just need more things to spend our mana on. Uh, you can do a lot of things with, like, Jorn Ramp. Um, you know, like, Winter's Chill doesn't really have anything to do with snow stuff. It's kind of thematic, though. Oh, that's it's like a super sense. fog. Okay. So if they pay one, uh, they um, they aren't destroyed. If they pay two, then they get to deal combat damage. So <laughs> it's a dumb card. It's got a lot of text. Um, Conifer worm and rhyme for their owl. Kind of the same thing. It's just a giant flyer. You can put ice counters on things to make them snow permanence. Uh, I didn't get to play this against Lenny, and I kind of didn't want to. Drug or Necromancer just kind of ruins Lenny's day. Hey. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we, we, we did not play that on purpose. Um, what about the other side? Respect. So, Cauldring is fun. Um, I kind of like that side a little bit better than the uh, the Rampy side. Because you can do fun things like Recur, Merit Lage of Slumber, whenever they sword your Merit Lage. Just keep doing that over and over again. You can do a Spore Frog combo with Sunstone. Oh, so you, nice. You can pay two mana, sacrifice a snow covered land to fog, and then you just bring it back with cauldron. And then, of course, you can play Dead of Winter, which is like super cheap because nobody plays snow lands. Nice. 
Yeah, that's the deck. I like it. All right. Yeah. So, um, I, obviously, the Heliod is an extremely strong commander. Um, uh, it's a budget deck, so I, I don't have Walking Ballista in here, of course, but uh, I do have Triskelion, which is kind of similar. Not exactly Whoa. the same thing, but if. Uh... Yeah, I mean, if I give it Lifelink, it can just go. Go ham. It was infinite, um, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, I did have a small. I I relied a little bit on the dungeon mechanic to try and give me some more card advantage, but I didn't see any of them, so I had Radiant Solar and Nadar in here. And then nice. I, I did have the alternate win of Approach of the Second Sun, of course. Wise. All Star. Uh, the deck is fun. I'd, I've. I don't think I've done very many life gain decks, but this one is uh, this one's good and it's definitely strong for, you know, the fifty dollars minus the commander, of course. Um, Lenny, what do you got? Uh, well, I, I uh, so um, I think the deck performed okay. Uh, honestly, I'm wondering if I needed more life gain, like just because of like. I wasn't expecting like so much like giant attacking um but uh some cool stuff that we didn't get to see like the idea was creatures that you would be like i'm not sure you wanted to pay life for like the golden glow moth <laughs> i love that card or uh the eye twitch so like either block yes! and I gain for life or eye twitch it dies and i learn I hate when I get an eye uh, to it. I love this deck. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna start sleeping, buddy. So, so a couple things we didn't get to see uh, that was a little rude. I had almost went on a whole discard tangent, uh, but I didn't. Uh, I did leave the Cabal Therapist in there, which is a 1-1 menace for one, and at the beginning of your pre-combat manning phase, you can sacrifice a creature, and when you do, name a non-land card, and uh, target player reveals their hand. <laughs> which I wanted to use as a political tool. <laughs> Does anybody remember when Modern Horizons previews first started? That was like the first card revealed. And it was, yeah. pre oh, yeah. it was pre ordering for like over $20. Would you like to know how much? I it's like 23 cents now. Yeah, I know. Don't yeah. pre order singles, people. It's never, right. <laughs> never a good it. idea. <laughs> uh, speaking of uh, things with all the death, I was like Magus of the Bridge. Ooh, um, Ooh. spicy also Tormod the Desecrator, but like yes. if you want to get into the hot it's sauce so here, Loris of the Dream Loris. Dead taking advantage of the recent ban. Oh, how Come much on. has that dropped since the ban? Uh, it's dropped to like four bucks. Oh, that's still cool. pretty. Uh, that was, it was only yeah. like six or something, wasn't it? Pre-ban? Yeah, I, I, I'm going to go for a while here, by the way. Resistance <laughs> Fighter kind of fogs people. Uh, so does Children of Corliss. Um, yeah. The one that I was really excited that I was sad I didn't get to see was Abu Jafar. <laughs> because <laughs> the card, nice. It literally says summon leper on the card. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and it's uh, when it's put into a graveyard room play during combat, you wow. bury all creatures blocking or blocked by it. Um, nice. Then just to kind of set things off uh, with all the one drops, abiding grace, uh, get them back. Tasa Karlov, double the death triggers. Tasa, yes. Thanks, Matt Morgan, for that. Uh, Ao the Dawn Sky. Yeah. Oh, just... wow. uh, and then and if <laughs> if it wasn't enough, that it was getting stuff back. Uh, I have Wake the Dead, which is hilarious with Athreos, because you cast it on combat during an opponent's turn, return X creature cards from your graveyard to the battlefield, and sacrifice them at the next end step. Mm -hmm. So all that stuff, I'd be like, okay, do you want to pay for that again? <laughs> so yeah, that's that's kind of more or less what the deck is supposed to do. What was the most Super... expensive card in everybody's deck? Most oh, that's easy. Well, let me do a quick breakdown. So here are the Hydras that we saw that I enjoyed. Ren's Run, Ulvenwald, Apocalypse, and Honorary Hydra, Avatar of Night. Things we didn't see, followed by the most expensive card in my deck, Savageborn Hydra, another Hydra, Gargos, more Hydras, and we didn't get to see it, but I have an Unbound Flourishing in here. Unbound Flourishing? Yeah, it's a little what bit that, outrageous. Huh? It's about six bucks. Oh, that's... Oh, okay, I know what that card is now, yeah. 
I was uh, I was not sure. So aside from the basic lands in my deck, which is literally almost half the deck, my most expensive card, which I found room for, was Zendikar Resurgent at like five dollars and a cent. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know if um, using the Enchant uh, Aura land things would let me get double the snow mana. I couldn't find any ruling saying that yes, it would, so I didn't put them in. So this was a nice substitute. Hmm. All right. Um, well, aside from a commander who is well, almost $20, my next most expensive card in here is Karn's Bastion. Nice. Which is around six bucks. Sun Titan actually, I think, is the most, but only because it's the secret layer version, so that doesn't count. Mm. So for me, I think it's kind of a three-way tie between Loris of the Dream Den, uh, let's see, it was Loris of the Dream Den, Wake the Dead, and Reliquary Tower. <laughs> is, well, okay, I, is you really want Reliquary Tower, because nice. if people start giving you stuff <laughs> back, you're, like, gonna run out of, uh, hand size. Smart. Did you, uh, I know you put no ramp in there, did you consider Thought Vessel? I did, but Thought Vessel is pretty expensive right now, and I oh, just, uh -huh. you know, I'd rather have Lurus. I also didn't put it in the deck, but I have a Hydra Doodle. This is a dog. <laughs> yes. Dog yes. I cast it one day. Sweet. All right, gang. Um, I think that'll, that'll do it for tonight. Everybody in chat, thank you for hanging out with us tonight and watching these games and seeing us do crazy, godly things. Um, Nick, what have you got next week? All right, so next week, the 27th at 7.30 p.m. Central, we have uh, Kuro Hitsuke and... Uh, hmm, how should I introduce... Uh... <laughs> uh, I mean, I, 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 can, I can... We have me. Uh, I'll be there. And my illustrious husband, Steven, will be there okay. to counter all of my spells. I didn't know if you wanted to use Steven. his real name, so yes. <laughs> <laughs> so Lady's husband, Steven, and Kuro Hitsuke will be yeah. on uh, with us 7.30 p.m. Central on the 27th. Uh, and then after that, we are taking a break uh, for April 3rd. And then we have some more stuff yet to be announced. Yeah, sweet. Yep, we'll be announcing April, hopefully... Uh... Hopefully pretty soon. Um, before we go, let's see. We're going to raid Unicorn Fluff. Send some people Yay. on over to our friend Unicorn. And um, make sure to check out our Patreon. Patreon.com slash Scrapchallers for all the cool benefits and supporting your friendly local budget players. And um, just want to remind everybody that, as always, Black Lives Matter and trans rights are human rights. Damn right. Good God night, damn buddy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't close out on our patron right. logo. <laughs> Thank you, patrons. Bye. Bye-bye. See you.